Okay. Okay. Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib. Rashida Tlaib, whatever you want to call her. Okay, you guys know who I'm talking about here. The Muslim congresswoman who absolutely hates President Trump. And I mean hates him with a passion. Okay, remember she was the same one that told her her son that they were going to go in there. This is her big goals for Congress, right? She was going to go in there and they were going to impeach the mother effort. Okay, you guys remember that? All right, well, just recently, we know that President Trump had called for a national day of prayer. Okay, that was on Sunday, March the 15th, uh, in light of the virus going around the world right now. Okay, national day of prayer. It's very important for America to come together because prayer is the only thing that's going to defeat this thing. I can tell you that right now, guys. But what Rashida Tlaib did was just absolutely disgusting. This is a vile woman. Let me tell you, a vile woman. She retweeted, okay, a tweet that was put out by David Hogg, who's a Parkland uh, you know, high school shooting survivor, okay, who, who absolutely hates the president in his own right. He's a big gun control advocate. He was criticizing the way that the Trump administration has handled the My Sharona virus because that's what I call it, guys. I call it the My Sharona virus. Okay, if you guys watch me long enough, you know that's what I call it. I've been calling it that. I'm trying to lighten things up a little bit, all right? So she retweeted this from David Hogg, okay, who said, F Trump's National Day of Prayer, okay? He didn't want to hear nothing to do with it. He didn't want nothing to do with the prayer, okay? He doesn't think it's important, okay? What did Rashida Tlaib do? Oh, she went ahead and retweeted that because she supports that because she does, in fact, absolutely hate prayer, okay? And this is the exact reason that we're in the situation that we're in right now. This is why you see it. This is why you see the my Sharona the virus is spreading like crazy. Look at like a wildfire, guys. Okay. It, the, you would think, you would think at a time like this, that these Congress people could put their differences aside, put the political differences to the side, long enough to come together. To work together, to pray. This is a time when America needs to be on their knees in repentance to God for what we've done, for the sins we've committed against Him, the atrocities, the slaughtering of the unborn, the legalization of, of, of gay marriage. I could go on and on here. That's why you see what you see happening. Trump was right to call for a national day of prayer. And what does Rashida Tlaib do? She spits all over that and says, F your national day of prayer. I got news for Rashida. There's going to be a day you stand before God and you're judged for the things that you've done here on this earth. And I'll also tell you this, as an elected official, you're going to be held to a higher account because you're in a position that's in a position of power. You're in a position of leadership for this country. You serve in the United States Congress. You are blessed to be where you are. In the position that you and you are blessed to be in that position. And what are you doing? You spit in the face of God when the President of the United States calls for a national day of prayer because of the, uh, the virus that's going around our world right now in our country. You are a despicable human being, Rashida. You are a despicable, vile woman. And I can only hope and pray that somehow, some way, you come to God that you, you come to the true King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and I'm talking about Jesus Christ. But guys, I want to hear from you. What do you think about what Rashida here did retweeting this? What, what are your thoughts on this, okay? It, it, am I right? Let, let me know. Am I right or am I wrong about this? It, it, is she causing the problem here, okay? When I say this is why we're, one of the reasons why we're in the spot we're in is because of politicians like this who say these horrendous things. Also, guys, give the video here a like on your way out. Share it across all your platforms. Subscribe if you're brand new. And support the channel here on Patreon for $5 a month by going to patreon.com slash conservative truth. You can help sponsor this channel right here because YouTube hates me. I'm a Christian conservative content creator. That doesn't bode well for me. So if I'm one of your favorites, guys, why not help me out a little bit there? I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot tell you how much it means to me that you guys tune in here to these daily videos. And it makes me very proud and very happy to do this for you guys uh, each and every single day. And I'm committed to continue doing that. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.